Good morning, everyone. My name is Ori Ayo Ayodele, but I just go by Ori. And um, I help run the grants and hackathons for Falcon Green. So I'm going to go through a brief recap of how our hackathon went. I think I just, oh no, we're still moving. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Um, so our hackathon ran um, a month before the um, Sustainable Blockchain Summit, and it was co-sponsored by Gitcoin, Chainlink, Fluence, and Hedera. And what we really want to do at Falcon Green is to build a Web3 developer community and have developers build upon some of the APIs and tools that we are building at Falcon Green. Um, and um, how we do that is through our builders funnel. We really want to start and get in at the early stage and go through the builders funnel from early to late stage. We start at uh, virtual events where people can come and meet the team. They get to know um, what we're doing. And then hackathons are really where we um, want people to um, build out ideas, iterate, come to us, talk to us about what they are thinking about and how they can work with Falcon Green. And we've participated in some hackathons such as ETH Amsterdam, Chainlink, and then we had our own hackathon last month. And um, then when, we, um, when the hackathons end, we usually move into the green dev grants where we are able to um, take these sort of projects and ideas that they have come up with and then um, map it out a bit more and they're able to really flesh out their idea. We also launched a green developers grant, um, a one million refi project where those in the refi space can um, apply for the dev grants from 15,000 to 200,000 and we support them. And then through sort of the um, dev grants initiatives, they also hopefully will go through our accelerator and eventually venture funding. harder than I thought. <laughs> okay, so um, because this was our first hackathon at Falcon Green, we really wanted them to know what it is that we do at Falcon Green, why we do what we do, and what we really hope to um, take out of it. So we had our opening ceremony, and then we had our dev advocate, Jinx, who did the intro to IPFS and Falcon, and then what is Falcon Green, which Alan just went through. And then also um, our partners, Fluence, talked about what is Fluence. And then Juan talked about um, sort of the architecture of um, Protocol Labs and the future of Falcon Green, which you will hear more about during the summit this week. And then um, we had our workshop on greenhouse gas protocols. And it was really to um, scope out carbon emissions and what how can we measure scope one, scope two, and scope three emissions? And then AMA, where um, a lot of the developers were, were um, trying to understand what it is um, for the challenge and base statements that they wanted to um, build upon. And then I will also go into the challenge and base statements that we had. And then we just ended the hackathon on Monday, and we are still finalizing um, some of these submissions, and we will announce the winners tomorrow. So our base statement was, of course, the best use of IPFS and or Falcoin for environmental projects. We wanted to keep it as broad as possible to um, map out what they wanted to do. But our base statements sort of went into what we really are trying to achieve with Falcoin Green. The first one was writing a green reputation score. So this is, we want to be able to look at all of the storage providers on the Falcoin network and be able to know where they rank in terms of their um, greenness and how much CO2 will be saved um, if they lower their carbon grids. And then we also want to be able to, when we are able to um, map out this green reputation score, be able to give the storage providers a badge or an NFT and so they can claim that yes, we are as um, green as possible. And then finally, um, a base statement that 
we did was a block height range, which is able to know where on the green reputation score do the storage providers rank. And then our last bonus statement, which we are still trying to figure out because no one applied to this um, bonus statement, was revamping the NDC portal, which um, Mark, who's not part of the, um, who's not here right now, was actually helped build this out to auto upload new NDCs to Filecoin and IPFS. And then our partners each had their own um, base statements, which they will also go into tomorrow doing the final hackathon round. Okay, so these were um, some of our hackathon um, judges. We had Alex from UNFCCC, we had the dev advocate Jenks, and then Mark and Moza from our team. We also had Bernard and Andrej from Fluence and Chainlink, and then we had Alejandra, which is not on here right now, from um, 50 Leads. So in total, um, our hackathon ran for four weeks and we had 250 um, plus participants from around the world and 70 projects submitted. And this was great for us because as we are a very nascent team, we also weren't sure of what would happen with these sort of projects that we would um, receive or if people really understood what we were doing at um, Falcon Green. And we really did get great submissions. Some of project ideas that we received were the community hub for Filecoin storage providers so they can track their green reputation scores both on and off chain. And then we um, also got some ideas such as locating and understanding the distribution of green storage providers across the world in the Filecoin network. We got indoor vertical farms and how they can track and trace that and an indoor farm environmental impact data tracker and explorer. As this is just our first um, hackathon, we also want to expand some of these ideas that we have going forward and we do plan to work with some of the um, developers who have built on our ideas and project ideas and you will also get to hear from some of them tomorrow doing um, the final hackathon. So I do hope that all of you do participate in our hackathon and stay tuned tomorrow for our winners.